Hello and welcome to another more pots video. My name is Alias, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Destruction Warlock in patch 5.2. This is the first World of Warcraft video on this channel. It should be good, it should be good. Let's get right into it here. Destruction. Okay, as Destruction, you have five things you should really be worried about, okay? Those are Immolate, Conflagrate, Incinerate, and Chaos Bolt, as well as Burning Embers. Burning Embers are your resource as a Destruction Warlock. Affliction has Soul Shards, and Demonology has Demonic Fury. Like them, we also have our own individual resource, and it is called the Burning Embers, sorry. Um, so, <clears throat> let's move into Talents, and we're going to cover the rotation later. So, um, really, there's quite a bit of leeway as to how you want to build your character. It's really depending on the encounters that you are playing, and uh, how you want to gear up for those uh, as best as you could. So, to begin here, we've got Soul Leech. This is my personal preference. Either of these three are viable. Uh, Dark Regeneration, probably more so than Harvest Life because of that 30% um, overtime healing. Uh, Harvest Life, uh, possible if you want to do some AoE damage. If Although, Destruction Warlocks really don't lack any AoE damage, this could be another option. Uh, Shadow Fury or Mortal Coil, uh, really, that's what you want to be going for, uh, because Howl of Terror is useless in PvE. This is a PvE guide, and yes, so Shadow Fury or Mortal Coil, generally I will go for Mortal Coil, but right now, Shadow Fury. Uh, <clears throat> Dark Bargain. Sacrificial Pact and Soul Link. Okay, don't want to be using Soul Link. Just don't want to be using that. It's uh, it's just not viable right now as a Destruction Warlock. Uh, I would recommend Sacrificial Pact or Dark Bargain. Dark Bargain seems to be the thing that people tend to go for the most and what I go for the most. Uh, Sacrificial Pact is also very good. Uh, it makes you... Uh, it shields you for 400% of the sacrificed health from your demon. 25% uh, is sacrificed. But if you're not, if you don't have a demon up, your health is sacrificed instead. Um, so yeah, you really have to be quite careful when you're using that because you don't want to be, you know, in a raid and accidentally you just drop 25%. Can't have that. Okay, moving on to the level 60 talents. Um, Burning rush. Pretty good, pretty good. Mostly what people tend to go for. Uh, nice to have that extra little movement speed. Uh, when you're, you know, running around doing your LFR or whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, Unbound Will, this is probably going to be the better one for the the guys out there that do the higher end rating. It purges all magical effects, movement impairing effects, and all effects which cause loss of control. So, it's quite a good ability. Probably... Also a very good PvP talent. Uh, Blood Horror, really no point using this. It'll fear the guys that hit you. No point at all. 75, these are important talents. Um, they really are. Um, Grimoire of Supremacy is really the only option as Destruction Warlock. It's just going to give you the best DPS output as it is right now in patch 5.2. Grimoire of Service. Not really, probably more of a demonology thing, you don't really want to be using that right now. We're more of sacrifice, it's possible if you're on a single target fight, but most more times than not, you're going to be wanting to use Grimoire of Supremacy. Uh, level 90 talents, these are all um, quite bad in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> Kildadian's Cunning is good, I really like that. Kildadian's Cunning is good. Uh, it allows you to cast while moving, and I love it. I move a lot in all the fights I do. I just can't live without it, okay? Manoroth's Fury increases the area of effect damage of your spells by 500%. Uh, you know, I don't see why you would need this right now. There are probably some boss fights out there that would be good for this. Uh, Archimonde's Vengeance, possible, but... 
generally you're probably not going to be taking too much damage, so, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't think so, but these are generally the talents that you're going to be going for, and here we go, glyphs, let's talk about glyphs, why am I in RP walk mode, fuck like that, okay, glyph of siphon life, uh, this is what I would recommend as a warlock, uh, your emulate spell will heal you for 20% of the periodic damage dealt. That means that each time it ticks, 20% of that damage will be transferred to life, and you will be healed. There we go. Glyph of Conflagrate. Conflagrate no longer requires emulate to snare the target. Quite useful. You want to be doing that. It's good for anything, you know, soloing, whatever you please. Um, Glyph of Soulstone. This, uh, really, this, this is up for, you know, Changing, you can be quite flexible. You could use uh, Glyph of Dark Soul instead. Grant you that 10% passive Dark Soul buff. Uh, I just prefer to use Glyph of Soul Stone because it's a very good ability, very useful. Um, yeah, I just think that is the best one right now. And Minor Glyphs, um, really, uh, you can do whatever you want with those. I'm not going to go into detail with them. Um, have a look here, you can see hit chance, 16.76%, well over the hit cap, you want to be getting that hit cap guys, 15%, um, that is the spell hit cap right now, uh, sorry that is melee, hit chance, here we go, 19.24%, I'm well over that hit cap, I should probably reforge some items, but, you know, hit, hit chance, you want to get at least 15%, and, uh, yeah, that is really it, haste, uh, you can see I've got, 4,673, that is enough for another tick of your dots, I'm not quite sure of the breakpoints for this, I will post them on the side here, um, so you guys get an idea of the haste breakpoints. Okay, moving on to gear, um, as you can see here, item level 477, LFR gear, really nothing spectacular, just got my shot touch weapon, uh, really anybody can do the DPS I do right now uh, really shouldn't have a problem there are even some blues here uh, and yeah some really bad trinkets but um, yeah okay let's get into the rotation so uh, as a destruction warlock you're going to be want to be using your fell imp okay Either your Felimp or your Observer will be fine, but I tend to use the Felimp. Okay, so look, there are some very important things that you have to be aware about in the rotation of a Destruction Warlock. The first of those things is the passive ability Backdraft. Uh, when you cast Conflagrate, the cast time and mana cost of your next three Incinerates or one Chaos Bolt is reduced by 30%. That is huge guys, you really have to make use of that and you want to be tracking that so you know how many stacks of that you have at all times to maximize your DPS. Um, let me just give you an example here, let me conflagrate that target, here we go, tell me when, it's telling me that I have 3 stacks of backdraft, you can see it up here, backdraft, incinerates cast time and mana cost is reduced. Now, uh, also your chaos bolt, when you use it, it consumes 3 stacks. Okay, but your incinerate will only consume one stack of backdraft. So let me give you an example here. This is your general rotation that you want to be starting off with. You're going to be wanting to use immolate, curse of the elements, conflagrate, and chaos bolt. That's going to give you a good start to your rotation. After that, conflagrate, incinerate, incinerate, incinerate. That's generally the type of rotation you want to be keeping up, okay? You want to get something that tracks your dots. For example, here on the side of my screen, I have Forte Exorcist. It tracks my dots on the target. Very useful. I recommend any Warlock to get it. Very useful as Affliction, might I add. Um, so here we go. I'm going to give you an example here. We're going to clear the DPS. And here we go. Immolate. Conflagrate. Chaos Bolt. Incinerate, incinerate, conflagrate, incinerate, incinerate, incinerate. 
Also, you want to be using Reign of Fire. That is generally the a very good thing to um, keep up in. So that's basically the single target, yeah? Um, even in single target situations, you should actually be using Reign of Fire. I forgot to mention that. Um, really because it... Uh, let me show you here. Spellbook. Uh, here we go, Aftermath. Your Reign of Fire does not need to be channeled and has a chance to generate Burning Embers. There's always nice to have the extra bit of Burning Ember generation going on. Okay. Um, so that's basically what you're going to be doing. Okay. Just Reign of Fire. Immolate. Curse of Elements, Conflagrate, Chaos Bolt, Conflagrate, Incinerate, 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 very good. Now, your cooldowns, let's move on to your cooldowns here. Um, Your main cooldowns that you should be worried about are Dark Soul Instability and Summon Terror Guard. You should be using, sorry, Summon Abyssal for AoE situations. That is just how it is, but on boss fights you're generally going to want to summon the Doom Guard. Or terror guard. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Um, so let's see if I can get my imp off this guy, and I'm going to show you a fully fledged um, thing here. Okay. I'll start over on a new target here. So we're gonna go in, immolate, curse of the elements, rain of fire. There we go. Conflagrate, chaos bolt. I'm gonna pop our cooldowns. Here we go. Incinerate, incinerate, incinerate. Basically what your rotation is about is about building embers so you can cast that chaos ball, guys. You want to be getting off as many chaos bolts as you possibly can because that's what's going to give you the most damage output, okay? Uh, as you can see here, I'm using Rain of Fire. It's hitting three enemies. When you're in an AoE situation, you want to be using your Fire and Brimstone and you want to be using Immolate to put up uh, Immolate on all the targets, okay? You can you can see there, they've all got it on them. And when when you're in an AoE situation, you're going to get a lot of ember, burning embers, okay? You're not going to be at a loss of them. You just want to be spamming that immolate. Don't spam immolate, okay? Don't spam immolate. But spam conflagrate, fire and brimstone, incinerate, fire and brimstone, conflagrate. Keep that rain of fire up to be generating those burning embers. Fire and brimstone, immolate whenever the dots wear off. Fire and brimstone, conflagrate. Fire and brimstone, and incinerate when it pops yeah okay guys that is basically the rotation as a destruction warlock okay you're going to have to you know adapt it and so on and so forth but uh there's actually one last point i'd like to mention here um havoc probably one of your main abilities um havoc is a very good ability okay um whenever you're in aoe situations it, look, it causes the next Chaos Ball or three other single target spells cast by the Warlock to also strike this target. Allow me to demonstrate. So, look, if we put Havoc on this guy, and then we cast a Chaos Bolt on this guy, it splits. Like that. And it deals damage to both of those guys. Okay, so... That's a huge boost to your DPS. If you've got Rain of Fire, and you've got, you know immolate on all those guys and then you use havoc and you chaos bolt another one like this you can see boom just massive crits right there it's just so important that you do that guys it's going to that's what's going to put you at the top of the meters that's what's going to change you that's what's that's what's going to make you different from all the other warlocks that are playing Okay, that's what's gonna set you apart. That's gonna make that's what's gonna make you a better player. Your resource management, okay? The way you manage burning embers is the way you are going to become a better player. Okay? Thank you guys very much for watching. I think I might actually post uh, a video this uh, with some gameplay in there sooner or later. I am not sure if I will or will not. It depends. How popular this video gets so post it in the comments if you want to see some gameplay but thank you guys for watching now go out there and spam your fire and brimstone emulate all those boys and don't forget if you need to go to the bathroom demonic leap onto that shit and chaos ball right in that bad boy okay thank you guys for watching and see you next time Ailey's out <clears throat>